Well, hello everybody, thank you for stopping by. They call me Kane. It's a pleasure not to be with you here today as we continue our King of Retail experience. Um, look, I'm kind of like up to date now on the comments for the most part. For the most part. For the freaking most part. Not for all the parts, but for most part. Um, and, and what I'm going to do when we get into our office here, I'm going to go over a few comments. Um, and, and I think this is like a good thing for, for us. And this is a very, you know, unusual thing that I've ever done in a Let's Play series on, on a game before. Um, I hope you guys don't mind it. Um, but the fact that, look at that. 2700 for the freaking corporation is just out of control um but i hope you guys don't mind it it's almost like a brief like an update every episode like in the morning like in the morning oh we have a brief you know briefing meeting you know make sure to make sure to show up um and that's kind of what the comment section is for me uh when i start up this game i go through them try to you know read them uh get them do it all the all the above you know and, and try to take the recommendations uh, to a whole nother level is what I, where i'm at but uh, a few things that i, I want to say and, and and there's things that i'm going to say in these comments and it just you know and just what does it mean um it means these are advice that people are giving really for the most part so here's one a thing that i've noticed in a game in, in my game is that food product is over three times what you buy for it it doesn't sell well so if we buy something and then we sell it for three times the value it doesn't seem to say, uh, sell w well, and this is for one, you know, this is for one individual. Uh, and this all goes back to the whole product things. Products could be different as well. Uh, so for an example, if our pizzas are for $80, and $0.80, cents, uh, we should be selling them at $14, which is not even what we're selling them at. We're selling them way even higher than that. Um, and this goes back to like the whole thing that I was talking about with like the, the you know, prices being lowered. Um, it's very it's very hard it's very difficult to to try to try to put that down because some people are like you got to raise your prices some people are like you got to lower your prices um and trying to try to balance the two is, is a very very difficult thing um another thing that someone said was um remember some and this is something that you know has has came across quite a bit uh, but it's still a good remember a good reminder sorry uh, remember some items will sell straight away some items, however, will take a few days uh, to gain their reputation inside the store. And this is something I never really understood um, because the game never really shows you, you know, I, I, you know, you take the game almost, you know, it's like a simulation, right? But I want to take the game to like, I, I want to feel like it's, it's, <laughs> I want to feel like it's just, it's still a game and not like real life. Because in real life, that sounds like real life things. Like if you brought in a new product, you would wait for it to, to gain a reputation. There's no indication. There's no, uh, there's no bars. There's no anything that shows uh, product reputation besides them being sold. That's the only thing that we, that we see. So giving them a few days to gain reputation, we don't see that really in the game, I don't think. So anyways, the, the comment goes on saying, if you adding, if you do add new additions, don't start selling them straight away or putting them on sell straight away in regards to the store money uh we should avoid giving the corporation our money because the corporation already takes a huge uh huge chunk out of it after every day which is a very fair point it's a very very fair point um so thank you for that um a variety of products to to be in our store should be something that we we should we should think about having maybe a smaller stock and more stock of fashion focused food for celebrities and accounts and i actually have an idea that, about that that we might uh, dive into that for today as far as some readjustments in the store regarding uh, more articles uh, for an example uh, and for our next staffing, they would suggest that getting a cashier is probably a higher priority than getting a restocker. And I, I completely agree with this. Um, I can do the restocking for the most part. I don't mind doing the restocking at all. As you can see, we, we have, you know, a sales associate now to a sales associate. And this is, you know, this is, this is to be determined, subject to change, I should say. Tyrell and, uh, Tyrell and Madison. Uh, right now, we're sitting at five days a week. And then he works on the weekends. I definitely could change that and do four days a week and three days a week. It's still in the realm of possibility. So this is this is a working progress, just so you know. But uh, the, you know they suggested getting a cashier before you ever get a restocker. Restocker tends to uh, break things, um, not do things efficiently, uh, no matter what their skill is. Uh, so that that that's good to know. That's good to know. They said if you are going to do a restocker or get a restocker. Um, just do that when you are ready to move on to another store, right? And I, I, I get that completely. Also, the last comment was, um, it made them very uncomfortable that we called Sophia, Sophia, 
rather than Safari. <laughs> That's just comical to me. All right, so here we are. Uh, so so let, let's just... No, we're not going to take a look at, at, at applications right now. So right now, Thursday, it's Thursday, uh, March 8th. Have we have we done our orders? Let's see. Have we done our orders? Oh, another comment that was, that, that was made um, was the fact that uh, we have... Okay, we, 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 okay, we did get our order then. Um, sorry. Let me see. There we go. We did get our order in. So th another great comment. This, this, this rings truth, you got to think. Yes, our courier has 120 slots, right? And that means he can bring us 120 items um, at a time, right? He always seems to come every single day twice. So if we ordered... 200, let's say 240 items, then guess what? He will be able to deliver every single item. He will de deliver an entire first 120, and then he will come back and deliver the second one throughout the day. Of course, we need to have the storage availability, and we need to have the drop-off availability, avail availability for that to work. But in a sense, it's kind of like it might work, especially for what we pay for the courier. We pay it very cheap. And now that we've negotiated the sales on that or the, you know, the, the discount for it, it seems like it's a pretty good idea. So today um, it's going to be a tricky one. We're going to be um, designing, not de well, kind of designing, I guess. Yeah, you could probably say that uh, we're going to be doing some some things here and there. I was informed. Uh, Cash register is 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 probably a a good idea, a good idea to have, uh, maybe even like going forward. So there is a lot of different cash registers. I didn't even notice either. Like, look at this. Like, what is this? Like, this is insane. Um, and that's one thing I need to re remember to do is like kind of you know uh, keep doing the scrolling down mechanism like this. This is insane. Like, this is kind of cool though. This is like this reminds me of like a retail. This reminds me of a well retail, but this reminds me of like a clothing store. What is this? Max Q for three, max Q for seven, max Q for five, max Q for three. I think our next one is going to be a five. Uh, but what five, right? What five are we going to do? Uh, probably the grocery one. Yeah, probably a grocery one. And I'm thinking like this one right here. This is going to be our next one that we get. It seems kind of, you know, easy, simple. Um, so yeah, that, that, that's something that we're going to look forward to. Another thing that we can do start looking at shelves uh, because yes I, I do believe the the fact that we can add um, some more popularity stuff right focus on a little bit of more of a high fashion a small amount but not too crazy but some high fashion stuff I think is a pretty good idea um, and, and this oh wait refrigerated so just about everything you can add into the refrigerator, you can add fruits and meat except for this this is obviously I don't think that's refrigerated um, but like Let's do, um, like, the, some of the refrigerator items is very similar to, to the fruit stuff, just so you know. They're, so, just so I know, actually, because people were like, you know, you could also do, you know, the fruit and the meats in the same one and stuff like that. Oh, my God, this guy's waiting on us. I didn't even know he walked into the store. There you go. So, yeah, what I'll do is I'll take a look at the pizza today. And uh, for the pizza, hang on a sec. And for the pizza, um... What was I gonna say? For the pizza, I might adjust the price, and we might sell a lot of pizza today because we are going to adjust the price. Uh, we're just gonna see how it rolls. It's gonna be a nice testaroni, testaroni, not testosterone, test, test, testosterone. No, not that. Uh, so let's see here. If we were to do triple the amount, right? It'd be four, eight, fourteen dollars. Fourteen dollars. If we did fourteen dollar pizzas, we could probably be seeing these pizzas fly off the shelf now. What would I recommend? What about a Corona, my man? Great idea. Okay, great. Yeah, so uh, another thing that was said um, was you might be in the, the realm of possibly having two sales associate during the day. Maybe soon. Not yet, but maybe soon. Uh, but even having a cash register and a sales associate, not a bad idea. And yeah, I, don't put Safari on... on um, on uh freaking on on cash register right leave her be for the most part you know until we get a you know uh a new person i guess a new a new hiree um let her be on the marketing right let her do her marketing thing 
That's what she was hired for. That's what she was built for. Absolutely. I, I agree with that. Uh, but sometimes I just need to, yeah, see, look at the pizzas. The pizzas are freaking selling like monsters now. And again, I think that just has to go with the, the fact that we are in a low income city. Like we're not in a high income city. If this was a high income city, it would be very different. Um, and I got actually a comment yesterday that was from episode like, I think it was like episode 12. And they were like, hey, play it how you would play it. Because some people are commenting here and some people are commenting because they've only done single player, single store thing where they, you know, where they they started off with all the money in the world, you know, uh, they started off with electronics and maybe they did a different product and they, you know, they're, they, you know, it's more profitable and they had a lot to start with compared to you because they were saying, they were saying in this comment, they were like, Campaign is a whole different ball game. Campaign is a very, very different game compared to you doing the single store uh, aspect. Uh, I guess other freaking, you know, other, other, other side of it. Which is, you know, it brings up a question like who and how many people are, are out there suggesting all these things that haven't even played campaign yet? You know, I'm very interested in that. Um, you know, if you haven't played campaign yet, I, I would recommend trying it, giving it a shot, you know? Not doing, uh, you know, your norm. You know, maybe not doing clothing. And it was a good idea that we went groceries because even if we did do, uh, let's say if we did do uh, electronics technology, the overhead price, like the, the amount of money it costs to buy one computer, right, is outrageous. It's absolutely outrageous. Um, and then you got to try to sell it compared to, you know, obviously buying $3 drinks uh, to sell. Uh, you would have to buy $1,300 computers, maybe, you know, whatever it might be. So there's a giant price difference there, of course. How that we had a cashier queue right there kind of worries me. <laughs> So what am I going to do? What am I going to do as far as the high fashion thing? I'm thinking of like, um, like maybe some high fashion fruit. That's a very easy thing to put out. Very probably relatively cheap thing to do and like doesn't take up a lot of storage and doesn't cost me a lot right now to put down. So I think I'm going to do some high fashion fruit, multiple racks of high fashion fruit. So let's do, I know, I know, I know, I know, I believe, I know we don't need to put everything on the wall, uh, but right now we are. So like three racks of that. So eight, 16, 20, $240 to put multiple racks of that. So this will have some high fashion fruit in it. Well, what, what is that going to be? I don't know, dude. I, I, I don't, I really don't know. I do not know at this moment. This moment in time, I do not know. Let's go ahead and restock. Pizzas are flying off the freaking shelf now. I mean, I mean, look, look. Pizzas are going. And this is something that we need to think about. Like, okay, now that the pizzas are going, maybe we, you know, give it to actual minimum storage. So let's see, two, four, six, eight. Give it a 12. Hey. Give it a 12. Two, four, six, eight, 12 minimum storage. There we go. Pizzas have minimum storage now um, at that price. And, uh, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't mind that it's like a couple dollars cheaper. I do mind that, you know, it, it's awesome that it's selling faster because if I can have it sell faster, there's a faster turnover rate. That's more money in our pockets every day. Um, am I losing big profits? I, I guess I'm losing $2 a, a, a pie, $2 on a pie. You know, uh, is that, is that, do I care about that? No, I don't. I really don't care about losing $2 on each pizza right now. Uh, I'm not in this desperate, uh, desperate freaking, uh, you know, I I'm not reaching out for an arm here. So let's do uh, this and then let's go, re not re beverage, let's go food. Maybe like throw down a refrigerator, refrigerator, a refrigerator here. Maybe like this. Yeah, we're spending a lot of money today. Yeah, I, I, I totally get that. So like, what if we did something like this? Next level. <laughs> I just like the song. Oh, I just lost the sale. That's okay. That's all right. Don't worry about it. I'm focusing. There we go. All right, so there we go. Uh, so I'm going to throw Safari on the cash register. Why I unstock. She will pop out. And then uh, the store will be automatic for the automated for the most part until we get in uh, new stuff. So yeah, we're trying a new product today. We're doing the uh, Chef's Choice, and that's the uh, what is it? This the like the tomato soup, I think. Um, and this is going in replacement of the roast. 
Um, I don't know. I, I, I probably will bring back the roast eventually, but I am curious to try out some new stuff right now. I'm uh, trying to see where things hit for the most part. So wine boxes. Did we get any more wine boxes? We did not get any wine boxes. Any of that? We did not. And we did not fill up that top row, which I, de I desperately need to remember to do. Uh, pizzas? Yep. We got a pizza. Chicken? Absolutely. We got chicken. And then let's go ahead and fill this bad boy up here. Dun, 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 dun. There we are. Do that. Fantastic. We'll see how that goes. And, and out of curiosity, like how much does tomato soup go? It goes for $14. So if you were to triple the price, three, six, nine, you know, I'm not saying this is like correct, uh, but you know, it is definitely something I am, I'm, I'm, I'm getting behind because I definitely believe in the, in the lower price, not the extremities of, of, of a giant priced item. Uh, I, I love, I love selling cheaper and I, I honestly guys like the demographic, it, it is built for the cheaper, for the cheaper look here. Uh, so the idea with this right here, how many can we do here? Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so what? Two shelves? So the idea here is to put hey, our most high, uh, high qual highest like fashion popularity products in these two, um, in these two shelves here. So that when the customers come in, you know, they'll be like, bam, wow, this is a fantastic cheesecake. I might buy that. I'm not saying we can sell a cheesecake, but I'm just saying, you know, it'd be a pretty good idea. So yeah, the argument that can be made, if you're going to have the lower prices, you're going to have a higher demand. Yeah, you're, you're right. Um, and I, I need to, uh, I need to kind of, um, let's do that. I need to adjust the gameplay for that. Um, I really do. Um, and that is order more, order more and, uh, prepare for more. Luckily, this was already the night shift, so the next day will be the day shift. So we can kind of get an idea of how much we're going to order. I'm going to throw it down right now. Like, I'm throwing it down here, here, fair and square. Uh, I'm going to try my best to get a 240 item or article order here. Um, and that might be, like, a lot of money. But I think it's going to be good in the long term here. I have high confidence in it. Don't worry about it. I think we'll, we will be A-OK, -okay, baby. Um, and, and that that's, you know, that we'll be fine we have a high fashion uh, cabinet refrigerator item here we have high fashion fruit that's going to go over here and we're going to give it a whirlwind uh i think it's we're, we're kind of at the point now like look at it look, look just wait a sec guys just wait a sec real quick real quick close your eyes okay now open them now look at this look how far we've came right look how far we've came we're getting there. Uh, we're getting into the point where it's like, look at the money, right? The money's looking good. And uh, and, and, and we're, we're, we're to the fact that it's like, it's like, hey, um, you can spend money. And this is this is the correct time, right? This is the correct, excuse me. This is the correct time to start uh, taking some risks, right? Not a big risk, but maybe, you know, some risks. And that goes with the whole like, yeah, let, let's fill up the store, right? Let's spend a lot of, God damn it. Let's spend a lot of money on products um and let's bring in as much products as we can into the store so that everybody everybody's happy for the most part we can kind of nail down some more demographics of course i think that's a i think it's a pretty good idea i think having more is is better um so we just need to be careful not to not to spend more than what we're making today's profits is going to be very abnormal um it's not going to look good on paper because look we, we bought look we bought um uh, we bought the, these, we bought these over here. So there's going to be some deductions in that that isn't going to be normal. So don't like panic when you when you see the order sheet or like the profits and you're like, whoa, dude, you're going to freaking do all this. And like, you know, you have only so much money or you only made that much money that day. We spent like how much money on freaking shelving here? This was like $240 for all three. These, I think, were maybe $240 a piece. So what is that? That's like. What is that? Like 920 or something? I I don't know. That's off the top of my head. Hi. That's almost a thousand dollars. I almost spent a thousand dollars in that stuff. Is that right? My lord. Okay, make sure everything is all set up to stone. Yep, everything's good. And now that we are expanding more and more, you can see how like products are uh, are, are are becoming shorter and shorter for the most part. Um and you know, we that's another thing, you know. It's minimum storage. Uh Think about it, right? And I, I'm going to put this at, at a minimum storage of eight. Um, the reason why I'm doing eight is because I, I feel like I, I feel like I can run the tomato soup again and with it being decent, right? I think it'd be okay. Let's go and help these people out right here. 
Uh, the drinks are doing good. I think, I, you know, I'm not really worried. I, I don't think there's a drink that I'm like, oh, this needs to, like, get out of here, right? Um, you know, the, 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 the Gold Saints, like, it's okay to have four bottles of that um, and maybe sell one every other day. Uh, at least the celebrities and the accountants, they have that, uh, they have that variety, I guess, there in their drink selection. The tomato soup, the tomato soup is hitting, and the tomato soup is being sold relatively cheaper on the cheaper side, so that's good. Let's go to add some more there. Dun, 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 Look at that. Line them up in the colors, baby. Um, but again, this, uh, we could be in a spot right now where we upgrade our register. We might even do that today. Like, we might upgrade our register today. Because we are getting to the point where it's getting close that our lines are filling up. Like, I don't, I don't, like, and plus we're going to have more product in tomorrow. Like, I don't see why we don't upgrade our register today. So let's see, let's take a look. And this is good stuff, cause like, this is like what people have been like wanting to see for like weeks now. And now that we're just finally there, like it, it took some time, but we're like finally there. So this is what I want. I want this for the most part. The next step, which would be the five Q. I think this is, a, I think this is good. I think this is a perfect, uh, perfect hit. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do it really quick since no one's in the store right now. Well, damn it, there is someone in the store right now. Let me check her out and then I will buy a new one very quickly. There we go. Close, delete, sell. $15 back on that. That's terrible. Register. Bad boy here. Huge daddy. There we go. Now look at us. Send it. $480. Open this up. There we go. Now look at that. Now we are cooking, ladies and gentlemen. We can have a 5Q now. Do that. Do that. Do that. All right, great. Dude, I feel great. Like, look at this. Look at this. This thing looks cool. I know it's kind of weird. It's like, why, you know, a register looks cool? It does. It just looks cool. Okay, so I think, uh, I think Madison, yeah, I think Madison went home. That's okay. Uh, I could suggest strawberries, I guess. Cherries, 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 strawberries, whatever you might want. There we go. Excuse me. Will you please, like... Okay, I, I don't know what the hell happened there. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what happened there. All right, so look, at they line up differently now. So this is kind of cool. I've never had this register before. I've never had any really upgraded registers before. Um, so they're going to be lining up on the side, which is something to think about when it comes to people, right? Uh, they're not going to line straight up. They're going to line up to the side. So cash register replacement is going to be a big thing and something I need to kind of think about going forward here. Uh, but yeah, into, into the tomorrow, into the next day, I am going to give that 240 thing a, a try, you know? I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to see what happens. Who knows? This might be the holy grail and the best courier service of all time. Uh, for the time being, at least. <laughs> Cheap and ready, right? I, you know, there's a big chance. So let's go ahead and do this. I, I'm not comfortable yet to, to hire a registerer. Register -er, uh, a cashier. I'm not, reg I'm not ready for that commitment yet. Uh... Uh, maybe when things get uh, crazier, maybe I will. Again, uh, daily manager, you know, a daily manager. What does a daily manager do for the most part? Does the daily manager control? I mean, I would, I would assume they control all the employees when you're gone. Uh, but like, how do you know when you have a good daily manager? How do you know when you have a bad daily manager? Stuff like that. Like, is there skill points? Is there, is there, is there things? Is there perks that, that are about these managers? Hello. What could you say? We have food in this assortment. I'm in desperate need of that. Well, great. You came to the right place, Frey Prince Jr. Go ahead and buy some food, my man. Thank you. You're welcome. Dun, dun, dun. Now, I don't even know, like, what the next update could be for this game. And I'm actually kind of curious. Like, I know I think they updated this game back in March. Um... But I don't know if it added anything big. Like, like, like I said, I, I wasn't up to date on the, on the game. Uh, what, what is this actually at, real quick? Sixteen. Okay, so the chicken's at sixteen. I'm okay with the chicken being at sixteen because you know it, it, it's cooking, right? Pizza's at twelve. I could spare two seconds, but I'm gonna be having a line here in a sec. Fifty dollars. Uh, as you can see, like our average sale, it, it's it's hovering, dude. It's hovering. It's hovering around a certain amount. 
Okay, she got upset that I didn't help her, but she's coming over here to buy something anyways. $16 worth. Yeah, we probably could have upsold her, but, uh, you know, I again, I, I was in... I was, in, I was behind the cash register. Things needed to be done. All right, so here we go. Uh, let's go ahead and restock. The store is closed. It's time for us to do our theory. Make sure everything is stocked to the brim for the most part. Uh, the Coronas over here need to be stocked up. There we go. That's stocked up. Uh, the chickens, uh, you know, there's no more chickens. I don't think there's no more tomatoes and there's no more pizzas. So, yeah, I think we're pretty much, yeah, I, I think we're good. So, let's go ahead and end the day. And we spent, like, I think we spent, like, around 12 to Twelve hundred dollars? I'm gonna say around twelve hundred dollars uh on new inventory placement items like uh you know inventory I guess is what you could say, right? Yeah, like eleven hundred dollars. So I was I was close enough. Uh but we spent eleven hundred dollars on new placements. Uh the corporation is gonna get a, a dime back, but that's okay. Uh so let's go ahead and, and, and jump into this right here. So jumping into this, this is a Friday evening going into the Saturday, which means we get our new employee on the floor tomorrow, which is kind of exciting in a way. So here we go. We got groceries. Let's do our minimum storage. Minimum storage is going to bump us up to 116. There we go. Let's get rid of that. We need that. Get rid of that. Um, Yeah, I think this is this is pretty good. Should I have more saves wine? No, we shouldn't. Let's not do that. So, okay, we have 114 articles in there. So now let's go into the food section, right? Let's go into the refrigerator food. food, And let's try to focus in on some high fashion and possibly high quality uh, products. Uh, and this would be ideal right here, like a mixed salad. Uh, this is a very popular, very good quality. And that's the kind of thing I'm looking for. Even some hummus, like... I'll, I'll be honest with you, hummus sounds pretty good right now. But uh, red cabbage, uh, some mixed salad, and some hummus. I honestly might go with that, like a mixed green salad. So let's do that. Let's, let's scroll down to the bottom here. Let's get a mixed green salad in. So I don't know how much can fit on that shelf. Um. So what we're going to do is we're going to do 12, I think. Maybe 16. 16 mixed green salad. Actually, no, no, no. That's, that's a lot for a new product. Let's do 12 mixed green salad. Let's do some hummus. Let's do 12 hummus. Um, so that is, uh, that's one of them, right? That's, a, well, that, that could be two of them. Yeah, so that's two of the shelves there. Uh, and then let's move to, like, the fruit. Some high quality, or high fashioned quality fruit. Uh, coconuts. You can have coconuts. Look at these coconuts. Uh, we already have a high fashion banana, I guess. Um, what else is good? So high fashion, high quality. What is that, a pumpkin or a squash? I don't even tell. Pineapple's a very popular thing. Lettuce, of course, is a high popular thing. Um, let's do some coconuts. Yeah, let's have some coconuts in and we'll do 12 of the coconuts So we have about three racks to work with so we should getting three different fruits and veggies in uh, This is a high popularity, but the quality isn't there. Let's do some lettuce We'll get 12 lettuce Latuga um, And then like even check it with a freaking pumpkin or squash whatever the hell that is. I think it's a pumpkin um, or what is this? Brussels? Like, what the hell is that? I don't even know what that is. I, I almost said Brussels sprouts, but I don't believe that's what that is. Cauliflower is a good option, too. That's some high fashion and good quality. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do the, the cauliflower. So let's go with the cauliflower. So there we go. 12. So now we're sitting at 174 articles. Uh, and I did say, like, let's, oh, let's try to do 240 this time. Look, I just don't even have the freaking, uh, I don't even have the area to put it in right now. So we don't need to worry about that. So 120 items will guarantee get us to, or get to the store. There's going to be about 54 items that he will have to come back and deliver. And that's the idea. Um, so let's do that. So we will uh, order $1,000 worth of product. So there we go, $1,000 worth of product. And we already have $1,200 still in the store or still in our pockets, which is fantastic. So let's go ahead and look at see what we have here. So we have Safari, right? I think we could be like in the stage here where on the weekends, because we don't have for the schedule for Safari. Look, Safari, she doesn't have a uh, days offset because she doesn't really spend that much mood. Like, does she have? 
she requires lower wages and she consumes she consumes less mood in the day which is great higher risk of angering customers which i don't know how you're supposed to do in marketing and then earns xp slower so that's okay uh we, we could send her on a course of course right course of course to get the reputation thing but we don't need to do that right now um so let's see in the weekend what we can do here and this is the spice things up a bit so saturday she can work 11 to 19 give her a lunch break weekend 11 to 19 give her a lunch break and so by doing this giving her a <clears throat> excuse me a heavier workload during the weekend she might need to have like a monday off and i'm okay with that i'm okay with that we'll see how this one day goes which this is going to be one of her longest days in being employed by us so that's fantastic uh tyrell ty ty you know the freaking mr clean guy i guess we can call him mr clean mr clean here um he only works two days out of the week so the fact that we can get him maybe in, like, opening to close. Or maybe almost opening to close. Like, what if we did, like, that? We'll give that a shot. We'll give that shot for Mr. Clean. All right, so Mr. Clean will be doing that. He'll be working most of the day, or most of the day as well. Um, so this is, the, you know, maybe this is our time to shine here on the weekends. The weekends could be the day where we uh, we, we tackle, right? We tackle for the most part. Let's go ahead and look and we'll see what we got here again. What do we got? We got a, okay, we got a potential salesperson. And as you can see, um, so this was, this, is this all this, like, everything, it was very explained to me by a dummies guide that I, that I read in the comment section. This all makes sense. This all makes tremendous sense now. Um, I understand the courses. I understand the red boxes. I understand the white boxes. I understand the, the stars. I understand the, the points and all of this. Like, this this is all making sense. So thank you. Thank you for that, for the most part. Um, and uh, this guy is going to be... He, look, he's going to have to He's gonna have to earn XP. He's not going to be the best salesman this weekend. Um, there will be... There will be... Um, there will be, what is it? There will be people that will be disappointed, right? Will be disappointed uh, in some of the some of the sales that he does. However, he's only $10 an hour. He's a very, very cheap worker, which is why I wanted to extend his hours out anyways. So, yeah, I think we're pretty much set. Let's go ahead and go to our next day, which will be our Saturday. Oh, baby. I'm really excited. This is going to be a big day. I like this. So, final in payment. Or, I guess, interest. <laughs> All right, so our store, you know, a level, we're leveling up slower now, you know, respectfully. There we go. $2,800. Dude, oh my God. We're close to buying this freaking store, I tell you what. All right, so here we go. Um, so this is where we're going to put... Um, what the hell did we buy? Mixed green salads. We're going to put hummus. Um, all that stuff is going to go in these cases here. Um, and then the fruits and veggies are going to go on this rack, I think is how it's going to work. Um, don't worry about the dogs. The dogs are going to freak out. The dogs... You know, mom's home. You already know. <laughs> all right. All right, all right, all right. So now that everything... Well, look, I could jump on the computer, admittedly, but uh, totally forgot to do that. So let's just let's just fast forward time real quick, real quick and see what happens. So dun, 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 dun. look at all... There's a lot of people here, actually. Or there was. There was a lot of people here until... I don't even know. Open for business. Oh, my God. Yeah, here we go. All right, so running late, that's terrible. Uh, the fact that the man's going to be running late today is, is bad. Uh, the fact that our employees are going to be here is okay, is good. Uh, it's a good start. Um, but I can't believe that our delivery is going to be an hour late today. Hopefully that doesn't affect um, us in the in the sense of, um, of him coming twice a day, which I don't think it should. It shouldn't. He should be able to still come twice a day. So once the guy comes... Um, yeah, delivery's coming. I'm going to put Safari here back on the cash register. Mr. Clean, the floor is yours, my man. This is your time to shine. I, I, that's all I'm going to tell you. You got two days to show me what you got. Right? Two days. I heard a bling bling happen back here. It looks like she like lost her head there for a sec. Yeah, she definitely lost her head. She currently has no head. That's okay. All right, so here we go. We need to uh, start register or put her on the register quickly. Um, and we need to unpack this as fast as possible so that he has enough room to deliver the rest of our stuff. So give me the full boxes. Thank you. I know you will be back later. So there we go. Hey. Quickly get this out of the way. Not enough room. That's okay. That's all right. We got this. It's okay. It's going to be fine. 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 So Safari might be on the register most of the day today, admittedly. Admittedly. 
Maybe not, actually. That was actually really good. I wasn't expecting to uh, unload every single article there. The fact that we unloaded every article means our storage room is doing good on that end. And I did forget to do the freaking shelf again. This shelf on the drink. Good God. All right, so everything's being good here. We will put the pizzas here. Tomato soups here. Hey. Ah, uh, excuse me. We didn't order tomato soups. Are you freaking... Oh, no. He maybe We did order tomato soups. We just haven't gotten them in yet. Sorry. That's probably what it is. We'll do this. Okay, delivery time. Look, the guy is coming back. So, yeah. It, it's kind of like a system there. It, it's, it's something that we can definitely do now. Um, we, 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 we can... Technically, we can put... We can order 240 thing, 240 items a day. We technically can do that. So that's really cool. So here we go. We got coconuts, and I'll I'll go back in and adjust these prices eventually. We'll do lettuce. And I don't think we have the other thing. I forgot what the other thing was. Oh, uh, uh, cauliflower. We'll do that. Okay, great. Hey, a little help. Uh, yeah. So far, he's doing fine on the cash register. I think. Let's do this, and we'll do like some, I don't know, dude, like mixed greens or something. Hi. Mixed greens. And then put that on display here so that they can get a nice read on that. What, six in a row? Okay, cool. That was 12, so that was a good hit on us. Let's go ahead and unpack everything else here that we have. Yeah, I think this is, this is big plays. I think we did pretty well here. I think we are doing just fine. Let's fast forward the time here. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun. All right, so there we go. Keep her on the register for now. And then do this. And then do a little bit of this. Oh, dude, look at the store now. Now we're cooking. Do more of this. Okay, admittedly, we might need more pizza going in the future here. Uh, let's put the hummus in. Food, 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 hummus. Thank you very much. There we go. Add that. Oh, dude, I just hear ching ching going on 24-7 behind me. Add the chicken. Anybody buy any greens? Not yet. Add some more fruits. Fantastic. Add some more Coronas. Fantastic. Okay, so, so, so she's going on break. That's fine. I'm okay with that. So let's go ahead and uh, ring, ring out the people. And what we'll do is we'll put her back on uh, marketing as well. So once she's done with that, then she can uh, go back to... Holy crap, $72. She can go back on uh, marketing. We need one more rack here that needs to be filled. So let's quickly do that before we get whistled at. Whistle cauliflower. There we go. Add. Oh, damn. I didn't do all the rows. Okay, well, that's okay. I'll, I'll be back for that. All right. So, I mean, look, look at it. Look, it's looking pretty damn good. I have to say, the store is looking pretty damn good right now. Do that. Do that. Do that, do this, and that. Don't yell at me, I'm coming. Oh, baby. So quickly, as you can see, the more articles you get, it gets more intense. Like, yeah, you know, the lines start to really uh, pack up here. Um, and, and, you know, even like, look at over there in the corner, there was a person like saying there's no room in line. Again, this could be a, a cash register type thing. Uh, I might be hiring a cashier faster than I thought. Tyrell, Mr. Clean, is doing a fantastic job with the salespeople. He's, he is going on break, so now the pressure... Oh, my God, $119. That was a celebrity that spent that. Let's not look that over. Uh, there, 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 There's huge gains right here. Huge gains. Um, the fact that uh, I need to adjust minimum storage on multiple things, uh, even look at prices on multiple things, is a huge thing like this. This needs to be adjusted right now. 16 16 needs to be. Wait, 2, 4, 6, 8. 16, yeah. Add some tomatoes. This, this, this here. They're loving the soup. It's not 126. 16. The chicken. I'm staying put with the chicken. Looks like people are buying the hummus. So hummus has been sold. How much is the hummus going for? $27. Let's do 20. Let's do $26. We'll keep that on a 12 minimum. And that, that, honestly, like the 12 minimum on the on the hummus might be a little premature because I've only sold one. But I'm kind of like averaging stuff out by, right, like right now. There we go. All right, let's go and look at... Anybody buy any mixed green salads? Yeah, someone did buy a mixed green salad. So let's do... Um, do, 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 do this. Bam. 
again, we'll do 26 here. Yeah, it's lower than what the price is coming in, but 8, 16, 24. This is $2 above the three, uh, $3 threshold. And I'm not saying this is like a, a known, like, oh, you got to do it three, uh, uh, three times threshold. I'm just saying it's working out for others, and I, I'm, I, I'm willing to take that uh, in, into, con into consideration. Uh, we haven't sold any fruits, uh, any high popular fruits and veggies, but these aren't expected. Like, I'm not expected to sell these. I'm not worried about these. These are varieties. These are, and, and that goes with the hummus and the, and the salad. These are items, excuse me, these are items that are, um, that are options, right? Options for the higher class society. 6, 12, 18. Let's do 18. Let's just do 18 on the coconuts. Um, and let's do, uh, 16 on the lettuce. And the cauliflower, we'll do 18 on the cauliflower. There we go. I won't put a minimum storage on them quite yet. No, 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 not yet, not yet. So there we go. All right, so I think we're cooking. I think we are cooking with some steam. I think this might be one of the best episodes of the series. And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, dude. I really do. Because, uh, you know, it, it's taken some time, but we've gotten here, right? We've gotten here. We're here. Um, we're, we're starting to look and starting to act like a real store now. We're not like your local mom and pops shop, which honestly, like, we need to change the name of the store. That's uh, th that's something that needs to be done. Um, and I'm not going to change the name until you guys recommend some name changes. Uh, it is what it is. So it's going to be Can Do Booze until you guys give me a recommendation. So let me know what you guys think we should change the name of the store to. And uh, I'll, I'll take that into consideration as well. Mr. Clean, I forgot how long he was here. I was like, dude, it's getting laid out. You should probably go home. No, he's here for the long haul today. I think he's doing a great job, though. I don't think uh, we've seen any pissed off customers for the most part. Uh, you know, I think today's just running very smooth. I do need to get an added shelf item here, and that probably will be something. I don't know what that is. This is a test, test shelf there. But we've came a long way to the fact that we don't even have a cell rack anymore. Like, we're just used to now... Uh, finding out what things are and what things sell for and what the adjustment is and that's good. You know, I really like that. So uh, This is this is this I'm just I'm having fun. <laughs> I'm having fun. I'm having fun time So I think we right now we can just everything's in, in stock for the most part We can at least sit here Safari's gonna go home. So that's great. There she goes and when we'll sit here and we'll fast forward the time Could I be outside attracting more people in I could uh, Do I like doing that? No, is it worth it? maybe 25 percent worth it honestly tyrell this is a good thing to even like uh, kind of look at here mr clean uh he didn't do much sales between the hours of 1900 and 2100 and that's mainly the fact that uh nobody there wasn't a lot of people in here so maybe we don't have to uh, have mr clean um here during those hours during 1900 and 2100 we, we sell food we sell food very interesting yes it, it's a very interesting topic that we sell food but we sell food uh, do that, do that, do that, do that, do that. Can Send it. Can you help me? Hey, can you help me? Thanks. Thanks. Next level. Thanks. Uh, what would you recommend? I guess I would recommend this. This looks promising. Okay. That's oh okay. Okay, that's that's kind of how we feel right right now. We're we're like next level. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> There we go. Make sure the store is completely restocked for our next order. Oh, hello. Missing. Oh, it is closing time. All right. So, okay. We have about $2,700. Now, in the next day, right? In our next next day, we should be getting, um, we should be making a lot, e even more than $2,700. Because we will have the products in store. We won't have to order a giant order here going forward. Um, like we won't have to do another thousand dollar order. Um, but we will be doing a relatively cheaper um, order, and I think it's gonna help us off. I didn't. I should have looked at the wages there. Damn it! All right, let's see here. Let's get our orders in. Yes, sir. Order minimum storage five hundred. Yeah, half the price. So that's great. That's fantastic. Um, and yeah, I will keep. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep. I mean, that's like real min-maxing if I'm like, oh, I don't want these right now. But no, I'll keep everything in the way it is, uh, except for... No, I think that's, that's that's pretty much good. But we do, and I'm not going to forget this time, we do need to have a beverage uh, in that weird beverage spot. And maybe we go for like a high-fashioned, uh, high-quality wine. 
Uh, that could be great. So let's do like the blue or the red. The blue saints or the red saints. Let's do the red. Let's do the blue saints. We'll do the blue saints. Um, and that will be a eight unit sell or eight unit buy. So that's going to bring us up to $648 under the 120 unit mark. So that means we are going to be getting um, all of our order in one order. So there we go. That's a good buy. That means we have $1,600 going into the next day, which is the next day we will be doing Sunday. Let's go ahead and take a look at our uh, at our workers here now that they have that, uh, you know, crazy time. <laughs> um, and let's, yeah, take a look at our courses and talents here, especially with Safari because I heard her, you know, get a personality bump or a, a, a bump in oh i guess she got a bump in register skills that's really good oh yeah because her marketing skills is is it's it's maxed out she's already maxed out on her marketing skills so this only helps us even better she could potentially become a a, a register as well like she could do days register and days marketing or you know maybe we just hire a register straight up um, but i really like the fact that uh, that she is getting better in her register skills so there we go your staff empathy and charm towards customers cons consequently customers will stay longer in queue yeah so i think that's really good uh, but that's gonna do it in today's episode hope you guys enjoyed if you guys did please make sure to hit that like and subscribe if you haven't already if you made it this far in the in the let's play series and you haven't subscribed yet what the hell are you doing <laughs> all right i'll see you in the next one take care if you ever feel the same it doesn't matter the time or place just sing hey